should I refinance my mortgage? Well, it's complicated. There are plenty of reasons for people to refinance, such as getting a better interest rate and lowering your monthly mortgage payments, switching to a fixed rate or adjustable rate mortgage, shortening the loan term, and cashing out some equity to pay for home improvements or to consolidate high interest debts. These are all good reasons to refinance, but today I'm going to address the most common reason that people refinance, which is refinancing when the mortgage interest rate drops so that you can lower your monthly mortgage payment. A long-standing rule of thumb to follow is that you should refinance when the new interest rate will be at least 2% lower than your current one. But remember that you need to think about more than just lowering your monthly mortgage payment because when you refinance, you're basically resetting the clock on your loan term. So let's say your current loan term is 30 years and your new loan term is also 30 years. In the first 15 years of a mortgage, the lion's share of the monthly payment is applied to interest. So if you've been paying your mortgage for several years now already, that process starts all over again. So not only will you be making payments longer, it's also possible that over the course of 30 years, you could be paying more money in interest, even with a lower monthly bill. So if you run the math and you find yourself in this situation, would you rather save a little cash right now every single month? Or or would you rather stay on course to paying off your mortgage early? So I personally would rather care about the long term because when I think about building wealth, I need to think far ahead. So if I were in this situation and I still wanted to refinance, then I would either shorten the loan term to 15 years or I would keep it at 30 years but continue paying the same amount of money that I was before, basically pretending that I never refinanced. So this way, all the extra money I'm spending on my mortgage is just going straight toward the principal. Another factor to think about when considering your long-term future is the break-even point for refinancing. Refinancing is not free. You have to pay closing costs, just like you did when you originally took out the mortgage. So the break-even point is how long it would take for the monthly savings to cover the closing costs. So for example, if your closing costs are $5,000 and the monthly savings is $200, it would take 25 months for the monthly savings to cover those closing costs. And after that, it's just all savings. So is it worth refinancing to save $200 a month? It depends. The longer you own your home, the more money you save. But if you plan to sell your home before that break even point, then you're just gonna lose money. To wrap it up, the main things you want to pay attention to when considering refinancing is how much money you'll save every month, how much money you'll pay in interest over the life of the loan, and the break even point for refinancing. I hope this helps you make the right decision for your financial future. Thanks for watching.